What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we need to take a look at some One Piece promo cards that are making me very, very, very happy indeed. These ones look awesome. I'm excited, and if I may be so bold as to suggest, I think you should be excited too. You see, a while ago, I showed you this Akira Igawa Luffy card. And I told you, I mean, there's a whole video about it, and I told you quite how exciting this was. And it's partly the fact that it's drawn by Agawa, in my eyes, the best artist working on the One Piece TCG today. I feel very confident saying that. I don't think anyone is making better art for One Piece than Agawa. I think there are other people making phenomenal art for the One Piece TCG, but I don't think anyone is actually doing art quite on the level of Agawa. I think they are absolutely crushing it. Uh, if, if you need some proof, might I suggest the Roanoa Zoro from OP01? Or maybe the other Luffy from OP02? Ah, there's a bunch. You've got three Agawa cards on the screen here. You can see I ain't pulling your leg. These are phenomenal. But it's also the fact that it is the, and I mean this sincerely when I say this, the perfect leader for a seal tournament you see this luffy has no skills and i don't say that just to kind of insult luffy it is a vanilla card and i know there's a bunch of text on the card but here's the english version of the card we'll get to how this is coming in a minute but we can see that this card reads this leader can only be used in designated events according to the rules this leader is treated as a card with all card names types and attributes according to the rules. And you'll notice it is an all color leader. So basically, we got 5,000 power for life, like we would expect from a dual color leader, except it's a sextuple color leader. All six colors. I think that's the word. And also, this is a card that can be used with anything. And that's kind of my point here. It can be used with anything. And I love this, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love this. But before we get to the implications, here's a version you didn't see last time. Same card, but that ain't no Akira Igawa Luffy, ladies and gentlemen. That is live action Luffy. And as a fun little side note, it's even got the One Piece Netflix logo on the card, which is honestly kind of amazing. Now, I kind of love that we're getting these live action cards. I think they're very cool. By the same token, don't ask me to choose between these. You know which one I'm going to pick. I started this video going on about how Akira Igawa is making the best art for the One Piece TCG at the moment. I want the Netflix One Piece, the live action One Piece card, because I think it's cool and it's going to look fun in my binder. There is no way if I'm picking between them, if I'm like choosing one of these to play at a tournament, there's no way I'm choosing the live action Luffy because we got an Akira Igawa Luffy and I'm choosing that one every single time, ladies and gentlemen, every single time. I do, however, just want to point out that from a design standpoint, I actually really like the live action Luffy because you've got kind of the pirate map. I mean, we put it side by side with the Starter Deck 1 Luffy. You can see that, you know, you've got the map behind and it, it looks like the same kind of card, but the live action version. I do really appreciate this. I think it's extremely cool. But no, it's not as good as the Agawa Luffy. Now, as a side note, the Agawa Luffy, the original version of this card, has been released in Japan. It's been used in sealed tournaments. I said this is a perfect leader for sealed tournaments. We'll get there in a second. The live action one has not even been shown off. Like, Japanese Twitter hasn't even shown this off yet. And the official One Piece TCG Japanese Twitter is generally really good for showing this stuff off. And I assume they will in the not-too-distant future. But as it stands, and I don't expect this to last... But as it stands, this is an English version exclusive which hasn't been shown off or announced for Japan. I expect it to be, and I expect it to be soon, but fun to note that it hasn't been for the moment. So, how are you getting this in English? Sealed events. There are a bunch of sealed events which are going to be running where you get this. Now, here's what the tweet says. Hello, One Piece Pirates. A special event incoming. One Piece card game leader sealed battle. 
participation prize, a rainbow leader pack that can be used at the sealed battle, two types total, and includes a Netflix live action Luffy. And it's happening from the 24th of November to the 17th of December. And you apply as both a store and a user on the TCG Plus app. Now, I don't know from this whether it's one pack with both cards or one pack with one of the two cards at random. I sincerely hope you get both when you join in this battle. I really hope that's the way they do it. I know they love doing card, you know, one pack promo cards in English. I really sincerely hope you get both just because I really want both of them. And I'm going to try and get down to one of these because that's awesome. But it's done as a sealed event. Now, in Japan, this was done with OP04. I expect that to be the case here. And the reason is extremely simple. OP04 is out here. And OP05 isn't. And over on the official website, we, we have a release date for OP05. And it's December. And these tournaments start in November. Now, they do carry on into December. And we don't have a full-on release date, not officially, for Awakening of the New Era. But make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, this is most definitely going to be an OPO4 tournament. And what's really, 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 really very, very cool about this is that you can use anything. That's the whole point of this leader. The entire point of this leader is you can use absolutely any card you like here from OP04 because whatever color it is, Luffy's got your back. And whatever skill it has, Luffy's got your back. So let's take a bunch of examples from OP04. Chaka, if your leader is Nefertari Vivi, up to one of your opponent's characters gets minus 3,000 power during this turn, and then KO up to one of your opponent's characters with zero power or less. Wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen. This totally counts as Nefertari Vivi. It's, it's clearly Luffy, let's be clear. But it counts as Nefertari Vivi, so you totally can do this. That sounds pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds pretty gosh darn good. Senor Pink. When attacking, pay one. If your leader is the Don Quixote Pirates type, rest one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less than at the end of your turn, set up to one of your Don cards as active. You are the Don Quixote Pirates type, and obviously you're not your Luffy, but here it totally counts. Uh, how about the Crocodile? On play, Don minus two. If your leader's type includes Baroque Works, place up to one card on the top of your deck on top of your life. Your leader is Baroque Works. And obviously, if you follow the, the manga or the anime, no. Luffy is not Baroque Works. But for the purposes of this, ladies and gentlemen, Luffy totally is Baroque Works. It means that every single card that you pull from your packs in this sealed event is active and on the board unable to be used and that is why this is such a phenomenally designed leader it lets you use every card now obviously not every card is going to have synergy with all the other cards that you pull this is a decision that you're going to have to make but the fact that they're here is awesome i'm very very excited you know what else i'm very very excited about these new uta cards now these are going to be revealed in a magazine and they're going to look slightly familiar. You see, a while ago, a couple of weeks back, I told you about a, an Uta Premier Collection, which is coming out. And basically, this is something you're going to go and buy on, I believe it's going to be sold on Premium Bandai. It is the Pokemon Card Collection Uta. And it had six artworks of Uta, and we didn't know exactly what it was. But if you have a look at the two cards on the screen and you compare them to this poster we were shown the other day, you can see that these cards are clearly from the premium card collection Uta. Because the art on these cards matches the art I showed you on this poster the other day. So they are 100% from here. Now when I first saw these cards, I didn't look in the bottom right hand corner, and to be fair one of them is actually covered. I just started reading the card, and after I read this leader Uta I was like hang on a second. That sounds familiar. And then I actually looked at the bottom right of the card. It is promo 11. 
the promo red Uta from the promo pack, the one that buffs one of your characters that doesn't have a skill by 2000. Yeah, it's that. It is that leader, but reprinted with different artwork. Exactly the same leader. And it's kind of cool, though. This is, this is not exactly a leader which is wrecking the metagame or anything like that. But I've seen this leader top-cutting tournaments. I've seen this leader doing very well. And it's very much a fringe deck, right? I'm not pretending this is a top-tier deck. But I'm also not pretending it's seen no play whatsoever. It's seen play here and there. It's kind of cool. Now, the other one I also translated, and this one doesn't say where it's from, but when I translated that one, hang on a second, that sounds a little bit familiar, and it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is a little bit familiar. And even if you don't read Japanese, some of you are going to recognize this just from the cost and the power. This is actually another promo Uta. It's promo 31. Came from a promo pack. 5 cost, 6,000 power on play. Add up to one Don card from your Don deck and rest it. And this is one of those where as soon as I translated it, I was like, hang on a second. That sounds mighty familiar. I feel like we've seen this before. And then I went to onepiece-cardgame.dev. If you're searching for One Piece cards, that is the best database out there. It's brilliant. And yeah. That was when I found out it is a reprint. So it's probably fair to assume at this stage that they're all going to be reprints. We have other Uta cards. We do actually have four other Uta cards. And bearing in mind, if you look at the poster here, it tells us we're going to be getting six artworks. Well, we've also got the Uta from OP01, the red one. And we've got the Secret Rare from OP02. And we've got the one from the Starter Deck, Starter Deck 5, the film one. And we've got the one from the Black Luffy Starter Deck, Starter Deck 8. In addition to the two I've shown you here. So yes, it is absolutely possible that the other cards in this premium card collection are all just reprints. And they are reprints of cards we've already seen without having to see another new one. And to be fair... That would actually mean all of the Uta cards so far getting a reprint. It kind of works perfectly, doesn't it? That we would have six different Uta cards and a set of six Uta cards of alternate artwork. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. That's too perfect. That's too gosh darn perfect. I believe that's all of them. So yeah, I think that's a fair point. Also, just as a bit of a side note, if you look at this poster... In the top right-hand corner, you've clearly got So-So artwork, which is beautiful. So-So is the artist, not a description of the art. The art is way beyond So-So. It's amazing. And I'm willing to bet that's the one from Starter Deck 8 that shows a younger Uta. Putting it out there, ladies and gentlemen. Putting it out there. Right, there we go. That's what I think. Now it's over to you guys. Tell me your predictions. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're going to be turning up to this leader event. And tell me which deck you are going to be playing with it so let me know in the comment section good us be nice and then make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter at the wasi that's where we talk about one piece and a bunch of other card games and please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.